What's up guys? Today we're back with another video. Today we're starting a new business adventure. We're going into real estate being house flippers. I just got out of Wells Fargo here. I put 20% down. We just bought an abandoned house for $200,000. We put 40k down. Let's hop in our 2016 Silverado. Get over to a property. Let's go check it on out and get this project started. Let's take a quick walk around here on the Silverado. It's a 2016 crew cab, six and a half foot bed. We do have a Z71 plus the sport package on it, which does look pretty sweet here. Really do like it. I do have a chainsaw. I do have a number of tools in the back cab as well. So we are good to go here, but I'm pretty excited to start this new mini series here. The goal is to buy properties all around town, fix them up and sell it for a profit. Now, like it did touch upon guys, we bought this one for $200,000. All of the houses in the neighborhood are going for around $350,000. I did the numbers. We should be able to probably put about a fifty dollars to $60,000 in renovations in work. And then we should be able to sell for a profit of, I would say, sixty dollars to $70,000. And if you guys do want to see more here, please hit the like button. It's much appreciated as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. But oh boy, guys, we are just now arriving. And we have a lot of work work to get in ahead of us here. Wow, I actually saw this site on the scene. I did not see any pictures uh, before I uh, placed an offer here on it, but wow, look at that, guys. Right off the bat, we've overgrown bushes here. Looks like we do have a fence that is definitely in disrepair. It looks like uh, it's actually missing a fence post over here. Wow, I'm surprised it's still standing there, boys, but wow, look at that. Definitely uh, needs uh, that to be replaced, but here it is, guys. Uh, for $200,000, uh, this was a house here. Now, we do have the keys and we'll be going in here in a bit but what I'm thinking is oh there is so much uh material so much uh just uh, looks like old supplies here that do need to be taken care of so I'm gonna get on the phone I'm gonna see if we could get a waste a bin over here today that way we could get going all right, guys, looks like the waste company said that they will be bringing one within the next 10 to 15 minutes. That's much appreciated. I really want to get going. The more time uh, we can uh, uh, get going on this and be more efficient, the more money we'll be making. But as we take a full walk around, wow, looks like there's just a ladder leaning up against there. There is a lot of, it looks like trash bags, looks like some spare tires, but oh, wow, there looks to be a shed around back here. Let's take a quick look. Maybe there's something in here. Sometimes when you buy properties as is, you don't know what's there but oh yeah this is just empty shed and I'm gonna see we might uh see if we could put siding on this but this almost seems to be that we just tear this down here yeah we're more than likely gonna have to tear it down we might put up a shed or we're gonna have to run the numbers on that there but wow look at this property guys there's definitely a lot of work to be done but let's go inside now I really want to take a look and I will definitely have to call up the uh, plumbers the uh, carpenters get everyone over here to get going I really want to get this uh, flip done and I would say about a, a few weeks at the most. Well, I just went for a quick walk through here. That definitely needs a lot of work, but I think we'll save that for another time. And I just got a text update here. Looks like they're just around the corner, so let's hop in the truck and uh, let's just kind of move it on to roadway. We have to put the bin here in the driveway, and that is another thing, guys. We're gonna have to call get quite a few quotes uh, for the driveway. That's probably one project we can't do, and I think the asshole driveway is definitely a must for us as well. But I'm just gonna kind of wait around here, uh, maybe call few people get them scheduled for quotes things like that and let's hope the uh, bin comes and then I think we'll go over to tractor supply to rent to skid I think we'll be able to do a lot of cleanup ourselves which uh, is gonna be a lot of fun
That was a pretty quick and easy drop for those dumpster trucks here. Now looking at this guys, I think that we might need to have a second one come, but hopefully we'll be able to put quite a lot of it in here. But I just got off the phone with Tractor Supply. They do have one. We just have to do some quick paperwork for the rental and it's only $500 for the entire week. And I think we should be able to get the entire yard done at the same time as well. But let's get turned on around. Let's probably just back around here. But I will have to say guys, this Silverado is one of my favorite trucks in Farm Sim. I really, really do like this body style, especially with these options on it. It, it does look pretty cool here, but let me know, guys, what do you think about this buying uh, kind of abandoned properties around town, fixing them up, uh, completely doing renovations and so on, and making uh, some money at it. I think it's a pretty good business model. Hopefully, we could get even bigger uh, to maybe do some dealerships, maybe huge uh, commercial buildings, things like that. I think that would be a lot of fun here for us. This is definitely a pretty interesting topic for me. And I really do like it here. But we are arriving here at Tractor Supply. I think we're going to have to park up front for now. And let's go sign those papers. That was pretty quick and easy there. I actually thought it was a lot more, but this is it, guys. The uh, Deer 333G, and they actually did throw in a grapple here, along with a PAL fork, which should be good uh, for us here. Really do like it, and $500 for that with the attachments of the trailer is definitely a pretty good bargain, in my opinion. That's a lot easier than uh, kind of owning one. We don't have to do the maintenance, and we just uh, stop here and pick it on up. But let's get backed up to it. Now, we do have to put the proper hitch ball on the Silverado here. I don't think think it's the right one but it should be quick and easy just to unbolt it put a new one on it's uh, back up a little bit more of that backup camera right on point all these new trucks have so much good technology that it really helps us on out but let's get, get back to the property let's get going now with all my videos, with all my series, I do try to have a bit of realism and that is always a pretty fun thing here for us, but it's nice to get to use a John Deere skid steer again. I haven't really used one in a long time and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to, but what I'm thinking guys, I think we should probably see if we get some of the trees cut down, get some of these rocks, get some of it just cleaned up today. I think that's what we should really work on here because uh, we definitely need the yard to get better and I do have to call in to get sawed. I think sawed is going to be the quick cheapest thing for us to do but let's hop on in here I will probably be a little rusty at a skid steer like this but it, it should be a pretty quick and easy learning curve isn't it like just use an Xbox controller usually uh, if you are good at those controllers you're good at these and I think we'll just get going here on cleaning up there now there are quite a few rocks and I'm gonna call up a few landscape companies maybe they are gonna want to take these rocks off our hands because I think they could probably use these on some projects so we'll probably make a pile here let's push those off to the side and uh, I'm gonna have to take out the fence here but before we do that we should probably order the new one as well that's probably a good thing to do let's move that on over but today's mainly just kind of clean up and kind of do the demolition work but let's go in let's see if we get some of these piles cleaned on up there let's scoop right into it wow taking full bucket loads and there's so much material here luckily though uh, this waste bin is gonna come in really handy we should be able to get this pretty full here today there seems to be quite a few rocks here at this property. Definitely something that are going to have to be hauled away here because these do sometimes attract quite a few different critters and we definitely don't want any around here. But you guys can see we're just using the skid steer to kind of push them around and just to kind of get them pushed to the side of the property for now. We really just need to get uh, the main property opened on up so we could get some power rakes on the skid steer. Get going on really cleaning up the yard. Uh, there are quite a few kind of holes around and uh, we uh, definitely want to have have nice green grass because part of the deal is definitely curb appeal but uh, the majority of the work is actually going to happen inside and that will probably be done off camera here because our skill sets mainly kind of with uh, kind of skid steers things like that and we'll just kind of call in the pros there but we do have a few more piles to get cleaned on up here but making really good progress and that is perfect nice full bucket low looks like just old materials uh, maybe the uh, previous owner was actually trying to kind of get it cleaned on up there himself but ended up deciding to sell it here here to us but we paid two hundred thousand dollars for it imagine that guys 200k for an abandoned house definitely needs a lot of work here but we'll keep going with the skid steer and i think we'll catch you back when we make a lot of progress 
All right, let's power off the deer here. We got it all pretty much cleared up here, which is good. All those debris all over is now in here. I'm actually going to call up the company, see if they can bring us a second one for all the work inside here. We're going to be having to replace definitely the siding. We're going to have to put new windows in, maybe a new kind of overhang, new doors. There's definitely a lot of work here. That's probably where most of the money will be spent, but we've around uh, 50k in our budget for all the re renovations inside and out, uh, which is definitely not a lot of money uh, but we're gonna make it work here now while I was using the skids here a few of the neighbors came out I think they were uh, from this house here they said this property has been abandoned for three years no one has lived in it and it's just kind of been falling apart here so hopefully we can bring new life and uh, uh, make some more money doing it as well but hope you guys enjoyed the first episode here flipping this house I can't wait for all the upcoming videos this will probably be I would say a three to four part video series as well so hope you guys are excited for it here but Thanks for watching, stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.